How's it going, guys? Hope you had a good Chrissy and Happy New Year and all that stuff. Uh, I certainly have. Just had some good time with the family and uh, no, it's been very good. Um, so today's video, just a short one today. Just um, want to show you these items that I was sent by Life Do. Um, the description, that's uh, the description. The link to the website will be in the description. That's what I meant to say. Um, so yeah, they sent me this fire pit and this SUV doorstep, which there is a carry bag, there it is. Um, yeah, so first impressions, they look pretty good. I'm sort of, uh, I haven't used it, so it's not a review. Um, it's just to show you what they sent me. So the fire pit, we'll start with that. Um, just consists of four, four pieces of steel plate, basically. They all slot in together. They've got these grooves on each bit. Each bit's got a little carry handle, so when you pack it up, you can sort of carry them around. Pretty heavy, pretty heavy. It is steel. Um, and again, I can't sort of comment too much on the integrity of it, but I mean, not much can go wrong, really. It's just a steel, flat steel plate. So you just slot them in there until it's all central, and that's it. It's pretty, it's sturdy, you know? Um, so first impression's pretty good. Um, one thing I have noticed with it, um, I've got two downfalls, and that's without using it. So um, one, I'll run the camera over this while I'm talking to you, but one, there's about an eight mil gap down the center here, and I'm assuming that's for airflow. Um, but I've, in my head, the idea of a fire pit off the ground is to stop stuff from burning the ground so obviously you're going to get hot embers and ash and whatnot falling through you can see why they did it for, for airflow but they probably could have just drilled a couple of holes in the side here maybe to get that air coming through so that's just an idea again I haven't used it so I can't knock it or or praise it too much um, uh, and it doesn't come with any style of carry bag but I mean, it wouldn't be hard just to find a cheap bag to throw it in once you've used it and save the back of the truck getting dirty or whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's the fire pit. Quite simple, quite effective. Um, and then, the other item we've got here is this SUV doorstep. Same company, Life Do. Um, again, link will be in the description if you're interested. Um, comes with this little... Uh, window breaker on it, which I've seen is getting quite popular with heaps of stuff now, isn't it? Um, so basically it just clips onto your, your door latch of your car on the on the door sill there. I'll get some close-up footage. And it just clips in and it gives you a step to get up to your roof rack and to tie stuff on or off or, or whatever, you know. So this thing's bloody handy. It comes with a little carry bag. Um, it's light. It's strong. Um, I've used this, uh, pros and cons, I mean it is what it is, it works great, it's good, it gives you that extra boost up to your top of your car, um, things to look out for maybe would just be, I've put on a few pounds and my little clip that's on my door panel, it doesn't budge so it's fine, but maybe you just check the uh, specifications of the, you know, the load limit of that, but I haven't seen too many people that have had any drama, well, I haven't known any people that have had dramas with them, but I'm not saying it's good or bad, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, just double check that before you go using it. You don't want to rip that off your door, door panel and not be able to shut your door, so... Yeah, pretty happy. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, just to say thank you and that is, like I said, I was sent this for free. I've already got a... Um, a fire pit. I've got sort of the top end style, like a stainless steel, uh, quite expensive one actually. Like, um, so I'm going to give this away, um, but because of the weight of it, that I, I don't really, I don't want to post it and that. So it's probably more of a local giveaway. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is just, if you're in the Townsville region, um, basically to enter. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel, um, like and put a comment saying I'm in and let us know what you think as well. But yeah, if you just write I'm in, 
Um, I'll give it two weeks and then I'll do one of them random shuffle pick things. I've never done it before but I've seen other people do it. I'll do one of them and whoever's the winner I'll get in contact with them and I'll either drop it off to you or I'll, I'll chat to you anyway and we'll figure something out to get it to you. Um, again, but I'm not, I'm not posting it out because I've just, I don't have the money. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So if you're interested, get onto it and uh, you could win yourself a free fire pit. Um, what else have we got to say? Uh, upcoming trips. So I sold the old Luxie. She, uh, I've had that for 10 years. I, she drove off yesterday. Um, I picked my new four wheel drive up uh, the 31st of January this month. So I'm really excited to show you that and what I'm going to do to it and, and share the build with you basically. Um, uh, got a caravan as well for uh, to get the family involved a bit more. Um, so we're doing a big road trip back to South Australia in end of March, so home for Easter, so the kids and the wife and that can see all their family and both our families are um, from South Australia. Well, that's where they live now anyway, so um, yeah, I was humming and ahhing whether to do some filming and that. Um, let us know if you'd be interested in something like that. Uh, so we'll be doing the quick way there, so inland pretty much straight to SA. Um, north of Adelaide, sort of a country coastal town area. Uh, we'll be around there for a couple of weeks, then we're going to spend a few weeks coming home the long way. So we'll be doing the Great Ocean Road uh, through New South, just the whole whole way up the coast basically. Should be some really cool stuff, Fraser and um, yeah, semi, uh, when I'm home I'll get away with the mates, the lads for a few beers and a couple of Forby trips and that. So, and then apart from that it'd be sort of family orientated um, but yeah let us know if you'd be interested in something like that so that's coming up um, in more recent uh, times I, I just had boat service so I'm keen as to get back out in the water um, too hot for backpack camping almost too hot for camping at the moment but I don't have a full drive anyway so I can't but as soon as I do I know I'll be frothing to get out there so that's that's what's going on in the channel um so yeah stay tuned I, I i really plan to have have a good go at it this year and and do a lot more filming and whatnot so hopefully we can bring you some cool stuff um yeah i've kind of felt bad even talking about fire pits and whatnot with everything that's going on in australia at the moment down south and whatnot like um if you're watching this and and you're sort of in the areas that are affected um my thoughts go out to you it's it's pretty it's full on um i've been following it on the news and socials and that and it's it's heartbreaking man it really is um so yeah my thoughts go out to you as all well. i'm up in north queensland here and i, I, I feel guilty because i just i'm just living my life you know what i mean unaffected so um yeah, definitely thoughts go out to you as all. Um, it's quite, it's quite heartwarming actually to see how how Australia pulls together in times like this. Like the amount of millions of dollars that have been donated, and it's still going. And it's it's, uh, I've I've seen the fishing community pull together and donate a lot of money, and and the awareness is just through the roof. It's it's really good. It it makes you feel bloody proud to be an Aussie. I'll tell you that much. It really does. Um, so yeah, stay safe everyone down, stay safe everyone down south and um, hopefully we get some rain and, and they just stop because it's just, it needs to end man, it's crazy. So anyway, just letting you guys know I'm thinking about you and everyone else in Australia I'm sure is too, so anyway guys, I've probably rambled on enough, again link will be in the description for this stuff if you're interested they're very well priced i'll give them that um and we'll see you on the next one thanks guys if you haven't already comment like subscribe all that stuff if you're interested if not be yourself stay safe have a good one all right guys cheers thanks